Hey, Craig, uh, I know we'd all rather be at Miller Park getting ready to celebrate opening day and the start of the 2020 season, but I got to ask, where where are you with that rainbow at a baseball field in the background? Yeah, so this is, uh, I'm just using it as a background, but I, I took this the day I left um, Phoenix from Maryville. It's it's literally outside my car, and it had, it had been an incredible storm there, and it hailed snowed almost and there was this beautiful rainbow across the baseball field so it was we were kind of going into a bad time there but it was it's my screensaver for now so um, I thought it was uh, hopefully a, a sign of good things to come well and we'll take anything that puts a smile on everybody's face right now right and the idea that maybe at the end of this there's a rainbow right so um but we're looking back and we're going to look back at opening day of last year arguably one of the most dramatic uh, and crazy games kind of had a little bit of everything. It felt like the team picked up right where it left off from the 2018 playoffs. Um, what was the excitement, the energy around opening day, um, especially considering the team had come one game short of the World Series? Yeah, I think, look, we were obviously coming off a big high and we, there was huge expectations, probably like the Brewers have never had uh, going into a season. Um, you know, it was largely, uh, it was a pretty similar group of guys. Um, and, uh, you know, we had Misha on the mound and he had had an unbelievable season, um, unbelievable playoffs. And so it was just, it was, we were ready to get started and we were ready to, you know, hopefully build off some stuff we had done, um, you know, although it's hard when you take that big gap and have all spring training, but hopefully, you know, get it started. And that same excitement did carry over on day one, that's for sure. Well, we all know how the game finished, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But as you said, it was the Alicia scene was your opening day starter. And you actually fell behind in the game, three to nothing. But then Stockton gets you on the board with a solo home run. And then Christian, fresh off of his MVP season, his second at bat, hits a three-run homer to give you the lead. Did it feel like, here we go again, even with Christian, of here he is delivering again an MVP moment, even on on opening day? Yeah, I mean, and that's how the season started. It was just incredible at the start of this incredible that series home against Lewis. And the first day, you know, a three-run homer puts you right back in a game. Plus, like – He's going to do it again. It kind of told us that, hey, it's going to happen again. Um, he had had a great spring training, but then to do it on opening day and, and just to do it as how he did in the early early in the season was was pretty remarkable to watch. Do you remember even Yulisha Seen had a homer in that game? I, now that we're talking about it, well, I do remember Yulisha Seen hit the homer, and I, we were uh, talking about that in spring training this year. Um, but your your pitcher goes deep on opening day. You know, you should win that game. I think <laughs> <laughs> as a reward. Okay. Well, well, Yulisha added on to the lead, so we get to the ninth. Josh Hader, of course, mows him down in the eighth. Two quick outs in the ninth. Jose Martinez comes up to pinch hit, and. I know your reaction when you spoke to us after that game, but Craig, when you're in the dugout and you see the ball come off the bat and it's flying out to right center field and you're watching Lorenzo Kane, just take me through what you're, you're thinking and seeing when you see low go up and make the catch. Yeah. I mean, Josh had just been dominant that outing. And so it was, um, you know, but I know Jose Martinez is, is a, has been a tough at bat for Josh also. Mm -hmm. So you know, nothing, nothing taken for granted for sure. And so when it's hit, you know, you're all, you know, you know what, that's what, that's what you are. <laughs> um, and that's what I was, but um, you know, in Miller park, the ball goes in the air and you know, it, it just, it tends to get out a lot. Um, <laughs> you watch low go after it and you, and he's, you, you can just tell when he's going after a ball when he thinks he's got a legitimate shot at it. And he was going after it like he had a legitimate shot at it. Uh, the fact that he caught it uh, to end the game and to end the opening day was uh, just a great way to start our season. And of course, we all know it, how, Lo how Lorenzo finished the season, has five home run robbing catches, starts right there on opening day, all part of a gold glove campaign. Um, definitely a highlight of opening day for sure. But Craig, you've been a part of so many opening days as a player, as a manager now. I, wanna, I want you to go back when you were a fan, just like yeah. the rest of us. Uh, as a fan, what were your memories of opening day and maybe one that stands out the most to you? 
Uh, but the, I mean, the one that stands out the most was probably a, a day. I think it was the first time they put the, the new scoreboard in County Stadium. I, it's hard to say that was a new scoreboard, but it was supposed to be this like wonderful scoreboard, uh, <laughs> like white on the edges, I remember. And six to Lascano hit a home run into the bullpen um, in right center field to win the game, I believe, or hit a big home run. Um, I, I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Um, that's probably the one I was at that I remember the most. Um, you know, I, I, my dad worked with the team, so I do remember getting just days off of school, which was like, the <laughs> best part, um, and, and not having to go to school that day and then bundling up and most times freezing, um, at an opening day. But, uh, th those are the best parts. I think skipping school as a kid, like that was the <laughs> cool. Uh, Craig, how are you getting your baseball fix now as we're waiting for baseball to start again? Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm talking to guys, uh, texting with guys. I think that's, that's first. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my boys out on the field and, and playing some baseball with them, um, which has been, which has been really enjoyable for me. It's something that frankly, I don't get to do a lot, uh, in, in the job that I do. So that's, that's, that's been enjoyable. Um, and then I think, look, we're all trying to, you know, there's, there's games on like this uh, that uh, you, you get a little fix on and people are posting great memorable games um, that it's been fun to just to, to catch snippets of for sure. Finally, do you have any suggestions for fans? Obviously we're celebrating opening day at home, but maybe tailgating at home or, or any suggestions you have for the fans out there who want to keep those opening, tra opening day traditions alive. Well, the skipping school part's been taken care of for sure. <laughs> so that, every every kid's got their dream dream happening. They don't have to go to school tomorrow or today. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I would say you know the, the great thing is is right now we haven't missed any baseball. And I know we're going to miss mm -hmm. miss a day, but we haven't missed games yet, and and so we're still early in this thing. So you know, for me, I'm gonna treat tomorrow like uh, I'm gonna be a little sad on opening day for sure, um, and, and I hope. You know, to me, for fans, uh, if, if you have a tradition on opening day, keep it going. Uh, yeah. There's no reason you should stop it. Keep it going as much as you can. We're all having to play a little make-believe at this point. So however you've got to keep it going, let's keep it going. All right. Great advice. Thanks for the time, Craig. We appreciate it. And uh, enjoy opening day at home. Stay well. Stay safe. Thanks, Sophia.